Welcome to our lecture line. The next rule is kind of fun. What do we do when we have a number raised to the exponent 0? Well, the result is that it's equal to 1. So we can say that any number, and we write any number raised to the 0 power equals 1. So that means that if we have 3 to the 0 power, does that equal 1? The answer is yes. How about 43,256? raised to the zero power. I should make this number a little bit bigger. There we go. Make the number a little bit bigger. There we go. Is that equal to one? The answer is yes. How about negative 2,400 raised to the zero power? Is that one? Yes, it's equal to one as well. Now we have to be careful. What about negative four to the zero written like this instead of written like this? And then it is not equal to one. It is equal to negative one because negative four to the zero power, the zero power only applies to the four not to the negative in front of it. The negative in front can be thought of as a negative 1. And so notice that 4 to the 0 power is 1, but then you still have the negative in front, so this becomes negative 1. So it doesn't violate the rule. It just means that if you don't write parentheses around it, then you do not, you do not include the negative sign as being affected by the exponent. If you want it to be, then you write negative 4 to the 0 power, and that is equal to 1, and that's how you then have to write it. But then there's always the question, you said any number. What about 0 raised to the 0 power? Is that equal to 1? How about infinity raised to the 0 power? Is that equal to 1? And it turns out there's not absolute agreement to it. Some people will say yes, and some people will say no. So we're going to have some fun later on. We're going to try to find that a little bit more. At this point in general, most people would agree that 0 to the 0 power equals 1, simply by definition. Okay, we can accept that. And so therefore, you can say that any number raised to the zero power equals one. And some people might even say that infinity to the zero power might equal one. And some people will say, well, that's not defined, just like some people will say zero to the zero power is not defined. So again, in some later videos, we'll take a look at those a little bit closer. So for now, if you want to call zero to the zero power equal to one, we can accept that, and we'll look at it closer later. And infinity to the zero power, well, that's a little bit more difficult to work with because infinity is not a real number. It's undefined. So you take something that's not defined and then raised to the zero power, why would that equal one? So that might be a little bit more difficult to prove or a little more, more difficult to accept. But anyway, we'll take a look at those closer. For now, any other number, right away, if it's raised to zero power, just simply set it equal to one. And that's the easy part of that rule. That's how it's done.